Hello beautiful Capricorns. Welcome back to the channel guys. I got my coffee with you guys. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We, we are getting cold weather here. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to winter. I do not like the winter anymore guys. But we'll get through it. Let's get your spirit totem animals. Capricorn, I want to thank you for all your generosity. Oh, give me a break in this gossip. Ah, Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Capricorn, please. Hmm. Tend to the small things. Miracles are endless. Sometimes life stings. But take time out. Slow and steady wins the race. Clear out the clutter. Somebody is acting as if they're... F mm -hmm. Okay. This and that are true with Dolphin. So it's looking as if you can overcome any obstacles here. Um, there is always enough with koi fish spirit. Somebody is coming off as if, you know, they are fearless and bold, but they're not. They're putting on an act here. Hang on, I'm going to clarify this. What's this act? What's this act here? What's this act? Someone's acting as if someone is acting as if they're fearless and bold, but they're stressed out. They're spying on you. They're jealous. Someone is acting as if they don't like you or is acting as if they could not care about you. But it's funny because they're stalking. Clarify this. I'm going to reshuffle. Spirit's telling me to reshuffle. Yeah, they come off like they're fearless and bold, but they're putting on an act. I'm not sure who this stalker is, but I'm going to ask. Who is this stalker? Oh my God, you feminines are not going to like this read. Someone is stalking you. They're acting as if they're fearless and bold, that they got their shit together or something. They are stalking you. Yes, they are. They're spying on you, trying to get information on you. Who is this stalker? Who's this stalker?
slow and steady wins the race here. <sighs> Jesus, is someone maybe around your neighborhood? Somebody at work? Somebody who... They're a gossip. They come, they act as if they're all friendly. They act like they're a friend, but they're a stalker and they're a busybody and they're a gossiper. There is someone around you who would knife you in the frickin' back. This is someone who comes off all tough, tough on the outside, you know. I, I am somebody, but they're nothing but a little gossip. For you masculines, it could be another masculine who's jealous of you. It could be someone in your neighborhood, the neighborhood gossip. This came out in Sagittarius's read. So... You may have Sagittarian placements in your chart, or you're dealing with one. It's the exact same thing. Okay, so we got someone who is in a commitment or in a marriage. It could be someone around your neighborhood or someone from your past who is uh, stalking you. They're wishing, they're, <laughs> what's that song? Wishing, uh, their wife or their spouse was more like you or their husband take, take it as it resonates <laughs> so Oh my God. It's almost like somebody is trying to put you in a love triangle, but you're not in one. But they wish that they could get you in one. <laughs> and it could be a neighbor. They got the hots for you. Someone has the hots for you. And... They have someone. They would dump that person in a flash to be with you. They were wishing their spouse was more like you. Oh my God. <laughs> Your intuition. I don't think you have anything to do with this person. But you may have hurt their feelings even. Oh my God.
Yeah, you, they're trying to be friendly to you, but you don't want nothing to do with them. And they're trying to get your attention. And they might come off as, like, critical or criticizing you or something. Come around your house. You know, if this is a neighbor, you really don't have anything to do with them. And you act, they would like to proposition you, but you see them as nothing but a burden. You see that you don't want nothing to do with them. You're trying to stay out of whatever drama that they're trying to do. And I told you, they come off like a, you know, someone all puffed out. You know how they get. They get all cocky and arrogant and they get all big like you're attracted to them and you have no interest in them. Yeah, you actually think they're a fool. They're delusional. You have nothing to do with them. They have someone else. And you're standing up to this person. You see them as, well, maybe they're in a, in a very, oh my God. God, they're lusting after you. They fantasize about you and it could even make you angry. They're actually chasing you. Look, this is someone you have no interest in, Capricorn. You're like grosses you out. And I swear that you have Sagittarian placements in your chart or you're just coming off as this beautiful, in control, uh confident person maybe you're very attractive or this person thinks you're very attractive but you have no interest in them so their wife is jealous of you or their girlfriend is jealous of you or the vice versa. Like, if you're the masculine, this other masculine is jealous of you because their wife got the hots for you. And quite honestly, you don't have any interest in them whatsoever other than to pass the time of day or the weather. This and that are true. This is a person who's always up in your business, wanting to know who you're with, wanting to know who that vehicle is that's coming to visit you. This is a nosy freaking neighbor who's got the hots for you. It came out in Saji's read. It's coming out here. So either they, they see you as very attractive like beautiful, sexually attractive. They're sexually attracted to you, but you have no interest in them. They want to pair up with you. They'd be happy. They want, they're a cheater. They're a sneak, too. And you don't want nothing to do with them. You're like, stay away, I don't cheat, I'm not dealing with a cheater, you're in a relationship, I don't want nothing to do with you, don't come sneaking over here, Don't. they figure that they can sneak around with you. Oh my God. Yeah, and you don't want nothing to do with them, you don't want to partner with them. They're obsessed with you. It's turning into an obsession. Oh, they are. They're secretly obsessing about you, fantasizing about you. Oh my God, they want to. They want to do you, and you're you're actually offended by this. They might be chasing you, but you don't want nothing to do with them. And this could actually be making you mad, making you angry. Oh my God. 
You, you're judging them now. You're saying you're a fool. You don't want nothing to do with them. This is someone that you don't want nothing to do with. Okay? But they got the hots for you. I don't want... They fantasize about you sexually. Oh, my God. But you don't want nothing to do with them. You don't want... You're not interested. Okay? You're just happy over here. Say I told you, Queen of Wands, you just could be very attractive. You could be sexually attractive to this person, but it's your energy. It's just that you're very confident. You're very, you could be very sexy. You could be very um, sexually attractive to this person. But you have absolutely no interest in them. You you would turn them down in a heartbeat. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, I told you, you don't want nothing to do with them. Nothing. You don't even. You would be happy if this person never spoke to you. You don't want none of their advances. They want to try to flirt with you. You don't want nothing to do with them. Oh my God. Oh my God. This person is starting to do things to get your attention. They might start like being mean to you or criticizing you, but it's actually because they have the hots for you. It's their sick little way of flirting with you. You don't like them. You don't want nothing to do with them. You might lose your cool with this person. They're pissing you off. See? They come off as a bully. Because you didn't want, you turned down their advances. You don't want nothing to do with this person. And now they're coming off starting some fucking drama. They're bullying. They're coming off as a bully because you turn down their offer or turn down their flirtation or you just don't, you, you don't want nothing to do with this person. Oh my God. Yeah, you tried to avoid them. You, you've got no interest in this person whatsoever. They coming off like, a, a, oh, I'm all strong. I'm I'm like gonna bully my way into your life. And you've been trying to like, you might even actually be thinking of moving. Or you've been just trying to keep the peace or something like that to avoid some kind of interaction with them or problem with them avoid some kind of drama with them they're getting more aggressive i don't like this one what's this person's problem spirit what's this person's problem They're obsessed with you. You've got an obsessive stalker.
Your intuition knows who this person is. Are you serious? Yeah, this person is a want to be. They're a wannabe emperor. They come off as like, I'm hot. Everybody likes me, but you don't like them. No, you are not interested whatsoever. You got zero interest in this person. Why does this keep coming out? The Queen of Wands is here. Somebody is sexually fantasizing about you because maybe you're hot. Maybe you're beautiful. Maybe you're gorgeous. Maybe they think you're the most gorgeous thing or handsome thing they've ever seen. But they're coming off really freaking uh, like you've turned down their flirtations. You are not reciprocal to this person. You want nothing to do with them. You might have to take action here. But, yeah, you got no interest in being no third party. You're not into it. You do not, you find this person boring. You don't like this person. They're not exciting to you. You have no interest in them. I don't know if you're starting to fear this person. Like, you are totally guarding and protective over your home. They're very immature. What the hell? You're just doing your own thing. You're very charming, very charismatic. That's what the Queen of Wands is doing here. You could be very physically, aesthetically uh, appealing to this person. Oh, God. To you, this is like, they're causing you, like, you're starting to get worried here. It's because you're coming off as an empress. But you want nothing to do with this person. I, I don't like their energy. They're, they're wanting to court you or flirt with you. I don't know. If you're living alone, this kind of turns them on. Like, this is a person who... Uh, you don't even have to be living alone. They got the hots for you. And you got no interest in them. And they're coming off pretty gruff here. Um, they're starting to become a bully. Like picking fights with you. Uh, this is a neighbor or someone in your neighborhood. And I don't like their energy one bit. You might have to tell this person off or I don't know, man. Like you're avoiding this person at all costs. I mean, it shows you at some point trying to be friendly, but you're like back off, back off. This is someone you don't want to get close to. And it's like, it's turning into a freaking obsession with this person. Maybe they can't handle rejection or maybe they can't handle the fact that you don't feel the way about them the way they feel about you. You've got no zero interest in this person. And you can't even be friendly to this person. And I think you're going to explode at this person. Like, come on, they're starting to ask too many personal questions here. And they're trying to get all up in your business. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
this and that are true. So this, if you are suspecting this, it's true. You might need to bring the power down on this person. They're actually in the state of shock. Or... Oh my god they're trying to start up conversation with you or communicate with you and you're like you're trying to be pleasant here but you're like i gotta go or uh i've got things to do you're trying to put this person off and the, it's like they become more aggressive i don't like their energy It is around your home. They figure that they can control things or like they want to be in control of the neighborhood or who comes and goes to your house or who you have over. They want to know all the details. It, it's turned into an obsession. This is creepy, man. Let's get some different messages. No spirit saying that's enough for this read. Let's get rid of the energy. That is for somebody. You are being stalked by someone and it's turning into an obsession for somebody. It may not be for all of you, but for somebody it's definitely here. So let's talk about different Capricorns. I gotta shed this energy. <laughs> Let's go into the goddesses and see what comes out. Let's talk about it. You're gonna have to stand up to this person and you may have to say some things to them that you didn't really want to say. Like you're trying to avoid drama but you're going to have to say something to this person. It's like you could be out in your yard. You could be getting rid of things and then they come up, try to make conversation with you, try to approach you. But the, it's their line of questioning that seems a little off the wall. And you might have to uh, put them in their place. You are coming off as the high priestess. See, you're in this divine passion energy. People could just be finding you like sexually attracted to you. And that's, I want to get other stories. You will be supported for today and all of your tomorrows. You have an infinite supply here of abundance and prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open and re and be open to receiving it. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and may take the appropriate action without delay. This is inner wisdom. Let's get some angel numbers for Capricorn. Seven, seven, I am brave. It's time to move on from old patterns, habits, and fears. Now's the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions. 
now is the time to be bold and to be brave. 10. You have a great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize the details. Then direct others how to carry things out. 24. I am generous. You have the heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be a nurturer, protector, a provider all at once. And you're very diplomatic, number two. You have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allow you to see all sides and advise others toward the most fair and beneficial outcome. So, like, you are being diplomatic. You have been very generous. But I think you're going to have to stand your ground to somebody. You're going to have to be fearless and brave. 6-6. Six, six. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You're encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. So you're busy focusing in on yourself and your dreams. For getting out of this energy, if I can, you have an infinite supply here of prosperity. Whatever that means to you, prosperity can mean finances or or love or abundance in the way you see it. So you are in the energy of being highly attractive, attracting finance and love. But with that, there is some low vibrational energies that are also being attracted to you. One I just mentioned. And you have absolutely no interest in this person. And you've tried to be diplomatic. You might have to uh, stand up to this person and call their ass out. Let's get other stories, other storylines, please, for Capricorn. like this energy that's coming out for you. You're being divinely guided. Why is this coming in reverse? The chariot in reverse, the tower in reverse, and the death card in reverse. Is someone keeping you from moving? Is someone keeping you from your transformation? Is someone not wanting to release you or not wanting to you to move. Be brave, be bold. Eight. 
it's not going to let me out of this energy. This could be like someone making your life really freaking miserable because you are not interested in them. I'm, uh, it's the third time I got fear. So I don't know if they're trying to make you feel afraid or you're starting to get afraid of whoever this is. It's like this person doesn't even want you to have any people around you or friends. <sighs> They're very immature. Okay. And you're not interested. You're not interested in flirting with this person. You're very charismatic. You're very, you've been very diplomatic. You've been very, um, you've got the energy where you can solve you know, you're trying to stay out of drama. You're trying to stay out of creating any problems here, but uh, they're just so fucking immature here. I'm sorry, Capricorn. I told you, you've been very patient. You've been very, very patient. You're trying to balance the skills. You're trying to be patient. You don't want to create no drama. But. <coughs> you're being very kind. But somebody is very insecure. And they're coming off as if. They're very brave, but they're acting or spirits telling you, even if you're afraid to act brave. Holy God. told you they're trying to cause you chaos like that's someone coming off as a bully they're very immature they act real shit tough but they are not they're a little um could be you know I don't like their energy. You're so damn positive and you're so grounded here. You've been patient. You want to do the right thing by everybody. 
You're not causing no trouble here, Capricorn, but somebody is trying to cause you trouble. You don't want nothing to do with it. You don't want nothing to do with the drama of it all. And whoever this is has um, a partner. And they might be saying stuff to their partner to like uh, make their partner jealous of you. Oh my God. They're causing you drama. And you're not dealing with anybody this immature. Okay? Like, you're positive here. You're patient. You're balanced. You're highly attractive, but this person, if it's not a neighbor, it's your ex, okay? Whoever they're with, they're very insecure. And your person isn't helping by your past person, if it's your past person, is not helping uh, the situation because they're... Uh, They could be comparing you or bragging about you or saying things about you to get this other person jealous at you. Holy God. Yeah. And they're obsessed with you. And you are choosing to be alone. Okay, you're not emotionally dealing with these people. You're busy. If you have children, you're busy working, looking after your family, looking after your kids. You're building something bigger. You're not interested in what's going on here. I told you. Someone's obsessed with you. Jealousy. Being two-faced. Because you don't want anything to do with this person. I mean, you're trying to be friendly. You're trying to be polite. You're trying to be diplomatic. You're trying to remain positive. Somebody might have a split personality. I'm just saying you're going to get karmic justice. This is like. This and that are true. Whatever you were suspecting, this and that are true. You're going to have to be courageous and brave because somebody is obsessed somebody is obsessed with you even though you've rejected them blocked them they're not balanced 
and you are choosing to be alone over here and you are trying to avoid any kind of conflict, any kind of confrontation, any kind of drama. You don't want it. You're over here. Confidence. This is somebody around your freaking house. I'm telling you is jealous. Because you don't want nothing to do with them. You're not interested in a relationship with them. You're not interested. Some of you have not even, you've gone out of your way to just avoid this person. Yeah, some of you, like I said, look, this is drama, chaos. Look, you told this person, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. But they are not taking a hint. You've already told somebody, look, stop talking to me. I don't want to deal with you. Hands off. Back off. Somebody has a spouse, but they're, they got it for you. They're sexually attracted to you. And you're like, you want nothing to do with their offer. You're like, look, I don't want your offer. You've cut them down. You, you, I'm not interested. You've turned your back on this person. You do not want nothing to do with them. But they spy and they're nosy and they're poking their nose in your business. I don't know. And you hurt their feelings when you did this. And now they're getting aggressive. Especially when they're drinking. You do not trust this person. You know they're freaking immature. You know they're manipulative. You ain't going to be no side piece. You ain't giving nothing to them. You're just minding your own business here. But they're focused in on you. I don't know. Some of you you might be thinking of moving. So because you turn them down, they start spreading gossip about you. Gossip, gossip, gossip. It's, they've got a sneaky ass plan. I, I don't know. They think of you as their freaking lover. Oh my God, you do. I'm sorry. That's the story that wants to come out. I don't see this person as dangerous. I'm not getting no danger vibe here, but they're definitely, you do not want their drama. You're like, <laughs> I ain't even talking to them. I don't want nothing to do with them. In fact, you've rejected them. They may have flirted with you, but you have rejected them. And they're pissed off because so they may come off really aggressive 
you know, they're a fool. And that's maybe what you called them. You tried to be fair. You tried to keep things all in check. You tried to be bring balance into the situation. But what they do after this is on them. You're focused on you. You've told this person, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> I don't want to be a side chick. I don't want to be your lover. I have things to do. I'm focused. Maybe you just like being alone. Doing your own thing. It's like, and they keep flirting. you're in this empress energy and if you are the masculine here you don't want anything to do with who you could have a feminine stalker or and, and their boyfriend or their husband is jealous of you and if you were the empress this is like it could be a neighbor it could be your ex i don't know they're trying to make your life miserable because you rejected them you don't want nothing to do with whoever this is it could be a neighbor it could be a co-worker it could be just somebody who's obsessed with you Maybe they, they're not used to getting rejected or turned down, but you ain't interested. So somebody goes out of their way to create some drama for you so like you'll speak to them, get angry and talk to them, or get angry and confront them. You're not talking to this person and they don't like it. You're just doing your own thing, doing your job, being in your home, your family, your friends, your close ones. It's like, it's just somebody can't handle it. That you do not like them that way. Some of you, it is someone around your home, a neighbor. Like I said, when you're in that energy, guys, you, you're attracting a lot of good stuff. But remember, you're also attracting a lot of lower vibrational energies also want to come in, be a part of your energy. And you do not want this person. You don't want them. And they keep taking action towards you. They're going to get their karma spirit saying. Because like you've already been diplomatic. You've been creative. You're, you're trying to be positive. You are not trying to create no drama here. But someone is definitely not getting the hint. Sorry, guys. Because the way it's appearing is you are working on your passions. You are working on your infinite supplies, your prosperity, your abundance, your home life. Your close relationships with people you care about, you are not interested in this person. They cannot handle rejection. This 
is the type of person that would interfere if you ever did get a romantic connection. They wouldn't be able to handle it. They might come off the chain. Stalker is here, guys. Be aware. Like, I'm not getting like they're going to do anything dangerous. It's just they're annoying. They're starting to like be very, very dominant and annoying you to get your attention. They tried being nice. That didn't work. They treat, you know what I mean? And you're clearly not interested. Just some people can handle it. Okay, this is one of those people. That's the energy I'm getting. They just can't handle the fact that you're not interested in them. You're not even talking to this person. You don't want to talk to this person. For real. Oh my. You're going to have to be fearless and bold and stand up to this person because it's looking like... Um, gonna have to put them in their place even though you don't want to take care